So I fly you out to to do the cactus thing. Yeah. Have you have you seen my new book and and I have not yet. I haven't I haven't got to I I've had a couple of people tell me about it. I've had a few comments on Instagram saying how much they liked that that part of the book. Yeah, I mean I told you about it, right? I didn't, yeah, you told me about it. I just haven't read it. Right, okay, yeah. good, good. Because I got pretty graphic. <laughs> I got pretty graphic about how here, you know, you were this crazy guy. I just had to meet you. You know, I, I, I set it up as, the, as the, the context being that in general, I've not been really uh, supportive or, you know, not that I'm a hater, but like copycat stunt people, mm -hmm. like just doesn't turn me on. You know, like yeah. I'm not, there's not really been like a, a copycat crew that, that I, that I really, that I got behind, you know? Yeah. Like, it was, it was, it was you were the exception to the rule. And, yeah. And that was because what I saw you do was just so gnarly. It was so, like, there was just something about it. I was like, I got to meet this guy. So I fly, <laughs> I fly you out. I send you into this fucking cactus. And then, like, almost as soon as you're, you're out of the cactus with, with like, hundreds, maybe thousands of cact <laughs> cactus needles all over your body. Yeah. Then I'm just like, oh, my God, this guy's going to get fucking staph infection. He's, like, the, <laughs> the most unhealthy fucking guy. I, 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 I extended your trip. I brought you to the f fucking urgent care so like dude help this guy and and they weren't even concerned about the the needles all over you they were concerned about how sunburned you were <laughs> yeah, I know. but what, i was just like oh my shoot? yeah I, I was like were? i had like sun poisoning or something they said they gave me like a steroid for my sunburn and they were just like yeah the needles will come out with the antibiotics over time and you'll just have to pull them out like we can't do that like we're not gonna pull them out Dude, I had like a team of fucking body waxers come over to the house and fucking like waxing his skin, hoping that the wax would pull out the fucking needles. Oh, like I was, I was starting to freak out. Like, <laughs> and, and, uh, and 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 so we're driving home from the the urgent care, and, and I'm and and all of a sudden I'm just like, yo, dude, Zach, like, you know, you you should start taking care of yourself, dude. You know, like, you, I'm I'm like you. uh you know like and and then I, and then i take it like another step further i'm like dude the whole world loves uh a fucking transformation they love like like if you were to like get healthy like lose weight like the whole thing then it would be like a whole other level of, of opportunity for you you wouldn't be like in you know the, the the narrow pool of people who want to see like dudes fuck themselves up like that would open you up to like Ellen DeGeneres style shit like look at this guy he changed himself and I was like let me fucking help you get healthy let's bring you bring you out here so we make this whole plan to fly Zach out and actually move him to California to try to help him get healthy I buy him a fucking car <laughs> like a used car with we're, dri yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. driving off this fucking used car lot and Zach's just blowing through red lights. <laughs> and it turns out, oh my God, this kid's a fucking hardcore drug addict. <laughs> Why? Because he was running through red lights or what, how did that come about? It was like, I wasn't even really like high. Like when I can't, I guess. <laughs> like, dude, I'm, I'm fine, okay? I'm totally fine. <laughs> also, I've not had a lot of driving experience at all. Like just in general, like no one ever taught me how to fucking drive. Like, like growing up, that never fucking happened. So, I am a shitty driver. No, no question. But how'd asked. you pass the fucking? I don't know. I well, I did. You passed, right? Yeah, I passed. I passed in Indiana. <laughs> Like, wait, wait, so, so, so... I he, mean, dude, you were blowing through... I was so like, nervous, was, like, it, driving you, too, because I was, like, I don't know, it was super, like, early, like... It was like, like Mr. Mr. Magoo, dude. <laughs> it was like Mr. Magoo, like, you just go through red lights, and there's a car, like, and... I mean, how did the conversation the come up to where, like, he was a bad driver to, like, bridging the gap of he's on drugs? Like, it, like, it just became, like, it became... That was, like, the first thing. Was oh my god! Like what's going on with this kid? I did you not see that it was a fucking red light? You just blew right through <laughs> if it. Steve's telling you you're a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I mean, when, like however it became clear 
it became really fucking clear. <laughs> like uh, that what he's on drugs. That he was on drugs, and that we had. And I remember thinking. Because because our buddy Tommy's a big recovery guy. Like we're all in recovery, and and when it came to our attention, oh Zach's got a problem with drugs. Then all of a sudden we thought, oh well, we're we're way better suited to help him with that. So we like started trying to help you with that. Yeah, and yeah. that didn't go very well at first. No, it didn't. Well, because he uh. picked up skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I started skating. <laughs> he started skating was, at the re- at the sober living. I was really stoked on that. Um, yeah, I was skating, and then like I was like, it was kind of cool. Just see, like I was like, dro- like I was able to drop in. I was doing some other stuff, and then one of my friends was like, "Oh, you should do this rolling grind," but I can't like ollie, so like there's no way I was gonna get off safely. He thought I would just be able to like s- somehow ride off of it, and I just ride down. And I fall, like, two times before, and he's like, just try one more time. And uh, we try it. I go again, and I fall off weird, and my I land, like, all my weight on my right leg, like, falling backwards. Le- leg just snaps in half. It was it was the gnarliest break ever. I, I hate seeing footage like that. I'm so happy it was on video, though, at least. Right. like it was, that, it was your leg? Yeah, it was my, like, tip big like break. The- yeah. Tip fib, yeah, because both bones snapped. Yeah, both. Like, and it wasn't even just like one little break. Like, it was like broke, then like under it broke. So it was like there was like a little middle piece. It was just there on each leg. I mean, on each uh, bone. Tip fib. I remember feeling responsible for that shit too. I was just like Jesus. Well, that was definitely me. <laughs> and then, and the thing was too that we like, you know. We 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 put you in a sober living, like a halfway house, and, and we're paying for it. And it was like, okay, Zach, you know, like we're all about recovery. And like in hindsight, it was so silly to to expect that we could just like push you into that. You know, like if, if I like in hindsight, if I think about it from Zach's perspective, it's like, oh, you know, like it, it's always been you know, my dream to like be like, you know, a jackass guy. Now I've got like the guy from jackass. Like, of course you're going to tell us everything that we want to hear. You know, of course it was like we were dangling a carrot and, uh, you know, and, and, and of of course you were going to try to pretend that everything, but you just didn't have it in you at that time. No, I wasn't like really ready like to, like get better you know at that time but like looking back like if if that wouldn't have happened like i wouldn't have like i wouldn't have i probably wouldn't be sober right now like because i wouldn't even i wouldn't even known about that stuff or like how to even like fix that you know right the seed was planted yeah it, it definitely helped me like in the end you know right and then in my book i talk about how like it, you know you weren't ready but then all of a sudden like sometime later uh you just got it on your own the seed had been planted and then the seed you know the, yeah it, 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 the, the plant grew and uh and and you were doing so great with everything and then at a certain point it became well i mean then then jack you, you were doing great when yeah. you filmed the movie yeah it was great during the movie um but then after like the movie was like done and everything i started like i don't know something like things just like i just i, 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 <laughs> I know you drifted away yeah yeah I, I remember telling you i was like dude like you know yeah. we got we to kind of stay involved in all in all of the mm-hmm. stuff and you were like just kind of gradually just drifting away and not paying attention to protecting mm-hmm. your, your sobriety. But, I mean, it's got to be tough being on a number one hit movie. Like, how intoxicating was that for you, being on a red carpet? Like, whoa, everybody knows who I am now. I mean, did everybody know who you were beforehand? Or I mean, the movie some, just... somewhat, but, like, cause I'm, I'm just somewhat, like, I'm sort of recognizable to begin with. But, I mean, the movie has helped so much, you know? Like, it's, it's opened up so much for me. I mean, dude, Zach was recognizable as fuck off the back of just the firecracker vest and then the cactus video mm. i mean dude that cactus video got hundreds of millions That's of true. views yeah like i like that that cactus video made you oh. super recognizable yeah it did it, uh, that was like that helped so fucking much yeah i mean it's pretty crazy how uh how, how that happened and then um 
I mean, I don't know. Like, of course, the Jackass movie is a big deal too. But um, as far as it's got to be tough staying sober when you're in a number one movie. I mean, dude, like, it's, a, it's like my guy always said to me, there's only one book. There's no special edition for special people. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're, like not, the, you're not special. <laughs> right, the, the disease of alcoholism and addiction does not discriminate, yeah. does not discriminate and neither does recovery. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it, it, it's crazy. It, it, so, so, after the movie happened, or after the movie came out, what happened? Um... I sort of, like, just, well, I sort of just was in a bad spot and, like, didn't, like, I wasn't, like, I made, like, some other, like, show for, like, a little bit with Vinny. That was the fail, fail Yeah, Army. the Fail Army thing. I did that. I did a few other things, you know. I ended up doing Shark Week. Um, there was just, like, a bunch of, like, there was a bunch of things here and there, but, like, I, I didn't really, like... I was just in a bad spot, like, because I was, because I was using, you know, I wasn't really, like, capitalizing on, like, oh, I should be, like, striking while the iron's hot right now, you know what I mean? Like, and, yeah, everything just got sort of gnarly for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you remember when we, uh, <laughs> I pulled, <asked> that. <laughs> pulled the, the intervention on you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I remember that. You, you, you talked a pretty good game. I was, like... We showed up at your crib, at, at, at your, your pad. <laughs> like, like, we showed up, like, practically moments before the eviction notice showed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and, and uh, we were there waiting to ambush you when you got home from something or other. We're like, hey, Zach, dude, like, you know, we're, we're worried about you. and We want to um, offer for you <laughs> yeah. to get, you know, to, to get help and, and, and make it completely free for you. And you're like, <laughs> dude, no, I'm fine, dude, dude. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Okay? <laughs> like, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Like... It did. He was kind of convincing for. A I believe. I believed you. That was cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like when you're doing that, and and you come up on somebody that's on drugs, and they're like convincing, but like your spider. It's like a weird thing because you're like, you sound convincing, but like everything in my gut is just being like, this fucking guy's lying, dude. Dude, he. he, he I say you talked a good game, but. It was, it was, it was, well, then I was like, okay, so, so, <laughs> so you mean to tell us that like, if we leave here, you don't have, if we go in your house right now, there's no drugs inside. And then when you totally looked away from us and you're like, yeah, you could totally do that's fine. I was like, all right, dude. It was just, well, they weren't in the house. They were in my pocket. <laughs> 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 you like so I wasn't lying, right? But uh, you know, and and uh, and and there was just no getting through to you. That like, dude, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. It was like, okay, man, you know. And then, uh, to your credit, not too long after, you reached out and said, "Hey, man, is that offer still good?" Mm -hmm. And uh, and man, that that's awesome, dude. I, I'm I'm super super glad. What made you call? Well, I mean, like after you guys showed up. Like, it was, like, stuck in my head, like, maybe I really fucking do need to, like, go fucking, like, get this shit figured out, you know? Turned out like, you needed it pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, like, it was just, like, how long can I, you know, keep doing this for, you know? And, uh... Well, how yes, bad was it when we showed up? Dude, it was bad. It was, it was pretty bad. I mean, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It, it, was, it, was, it was really, really bad. And, um, dude, it, and, and it's so cool because... I, uh, you know, ha had some people who I know. There was one guy who had offered a scholarship to to me for somebody. And I was like, man, this is the scholarship. That dude came through with, like, I think it was, like, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 worth of uh, free treatment. I mean, dude, that was... Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, and then uh, it continued to with aftercare. All I had to pay for was the detox. I paid for the Uber. <laughs> yeah, thanks, God. I yeah. mean, medical detox is no joke either, dude. You know, like. Uh, Did you detox pretty good? I mean, it was it was fine. Yeah, I mean, like it was good that I was. If I wouldn't have had like the, if I wouldn't have been able to go to the detox, 
it would have fucking sucked like so bad. It was opiates. Well, I mean, dude, if you yeah. like no, yeah. no rehab is gonna take somebody in who's not been properly yeah, yeah. medically detoxed. Yeah. Because then when you die in their care, they get sued. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what if for the, those kind of detoxes? It just depends on the drug of choice, and then they give you some sort of muscle relaxant for the week. And yeah, what do they do? It, it just like depends. Like mine was, it was for opiates, benzos, and uh, <laughs> and, says- and cocaine, <laughs> and like and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they... That, that was, like, three days before you said you were fine? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally fine, okay? Just pale white? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, there's, like, literally nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. I felt fine. <laughs> so, uh, so, that, so you detoxed for, like, a week, and then you got right into the, the yeah, treatment? Yeah, yeah, then I did that stuff, and, you know. Did you, you, deto- did you detox? I was in, um, yeah, I, I, was, I was in a detox. I, I don't know that I was, like... Was it, like, a... What do they call that? Medically induced detox? Or? No, nothing like that. Nothing like that. I mean, the, the the rehab I went had a detox in it. So it wasn't like I went to a detox and then a rehab. It was just all built into one place. Because that's like if, if you're like a hardcore drinker, you want to detox somebody so they don't like convulse and like have sure. a seizure. Yeah. And then for, for opiates, you don't want like the withdrawal process and you don't want to. I mean, it's a medical deal. Yeah. You know, like a de- the, the the detox we sent Zach to is basically like a hospital. There's a there's doctors there, like men, yeah. you know, yeah. like. Um, and so, what's life like now after? Um, I mean, things are looking so much fucking better for me, honestly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and I just I don't know. I feel like I, I don't know. I have like the want and like the will. Like I don't know. I want to do shit. Like, I go want to like get out there and like make shit happen. You know. Like, yeah. I just feel, like, so much better, like, overall. I mean, you've always had that. Yeah, you know? but I mean, like... like you've always been motivated. You've always been wanting to uh, be successful. And and you've always been teachable. Like, um, so I, I think... I, I see good things for you. If you just... Like I've always said, if you make recovery your number one priority, your only yeah. priority, yeah. everything else will just come together. Yeah. You know? Everything else doesn't even need... Mm-hmm. You just, just just worry about about being in recovery. Yeah. Do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is, Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And if you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Stevo's butthole destroyer, and Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude.